Hi, my name is Dave Kettlewell. I'm the host of mastersofharmonica.com. And a question was posed to me the other day, which is, how do you play? <laughs> and what did I mean when I said that the Seidel Saxony was a good solo instrument, and this is a Seidel Saxony. So I'm going to explain a little bit about what a solo instrument is, and I'm going to play for you a little bit. Well, once you have techniques, and you have an idea in your mind about what you want to present as an artist and the sound that you want to do, like, let's say I'm doing Ave Maria. I could come in, ba, 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 ba. It's a Beethoven thing. It's too strong. It's not like that. It would be, I would want to go, da, 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 it's a very lyrical, smooth line, and for a lot of music, that's what I want. So when you say, what is a solo instrument? In order to be usable as a solo instrument, it must be extremely expressive. In other words, it has to have a wide range of tonal response from kind of dark to something very bright that I can shape with my hands and my embouchure, and it has to lend itself to control of the artist. Now. I've found that the, I, I play with a lot of different instruments, solo, different harmonicas, but I'm kind of partial to this. A couple of reasons. Number one, it's pretty small and I can cup the whole thing. That means I can do all the kind of stuff with shaping from something dark to something really, really bright and screamy. So I've got the hand control. And the other thing I kind of like is it takes less breath to push this. And that's an issue too, because it's a breath instrument, we gotta manage that. So that's their, you know, that's a factor too. The other is, is the tonal harmonic footprint, the mix of frequencies on a given note, pretty to the ear? And this is, but it's also just a hair brighter, which means it would cut over other instruments that I might be playing with. It also is very stable tonally. But let me just play some things I was in Italy recently and I went to a round church and I kind of played this Ave Maria piece and it was bouncing off the walls and we're going to add just a hair reverb so you can hear what it sounded like in this beautiful church. You know, the janitor was in there, other people came in and they would listen. But I'm going to play a little bit of that and then I'm going to jump to a Beethoven, uh, 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 another piece that is a Bach piece. I'm just kind of do a medley of things, but just to show you how I'm using this instrument as a, as a solo instrument. So there's no soundtrack here. I'm not playing on top of anything. It's just, you know, what is the sound of this and what is a solo instrument? So on this thing in Italy, I walk to the round church, you know, warm day, warming up the harmonica, and I take it out. And, and this is kind of the song that I was playing, and I figured people would like it. Now, just by taking that so far, and you might say, well, what are you doing? In the beginning, I have to set the tone for the piece. Na, da, 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 da. I went with a double stop, two notes on each one, this. So I'm presenting like the grounding of the piece, and it's strong with a lot. And so then I go with this kind of light stuff that kind of dances a little bit. And this is where the expressiveness starts to pay off. So I'm gonna play that portion again, then I'm gonna kick into another piece. And I have a new note kind of rise and hang in the air. I don't play it cold. No, I'm going to give it something. I'm going to come in and then give it vibrato. The vibrato was hand vibrato, not larynx glottis, which is... But it was hand vibrato because I don't want the tone to drop. I want the same pitch. I just want the feel. So this is where the nuances of a solo instrument, the capability of a sensitive instrument come in. Do I want... You know, bah, that type of vibrato? Larynx glottis, or do I want? 
That's why a lot of players at the orchestral in, in, at the top use their hands. It doesn't, the pitch isn't shifting, it's just tonal color. So let, let's pick it up again and you'll hear kind of where I was headed with this. where that was going, it's very lyrical like a voice. Let me play something else a little hotter, a little faster piece, where it's about fast movement. And this takes less breath to blow, so it's easier to do quick movement hops. And this is a quick movement hop piece. So this is kind of a hotter piece, it's quicker. Again, being able to drive those reeds with less breath, the tremendous variation in the tone of the note from something dark to bright. That's the dark. A lot of things happening there. Darkening the tone with embouchure in the mouth, with the hands, opening up the note to bring in those high frequencies. These are the things that create the artistic interpretation part of it. And we're a sensitive instrument with an artist who likes that kind of stuff, can take it to a pretty high level. And I'm just going to play a medley of some stuff. I mean, I, I goof around a lot. I don't, not even necessarily a piece. I'm just going to do improv and goofing around, just some other stuff with this instrument. <laughs> 